Hello guys, look how my Jamaican color low. Proper Jamaican color low. So remember last year on the allotment, I showed you my color low. And I told you it came right from Jamaica. It came on the aeroplane. So this is not the wild color low, guys. This is the proper Jamaican color low. So see my seedlings coming on lovely. You know, they call it Amarath as well. So what I did... In all of the chaos that happened last year with my sudden move and everything, I went to the allotment and I just took off. You know when the um, colorloos start going to seed? You know, so that's the seeds for the following year. And this is what they used to make the amaranth grains, you know, that um, grain that we eat, like rice. So you can grow plenty of these and then eat the grains. All I did, this is just one. This is just one of the top of the color loo. I just harvest quickly to make sure that I have some fresh one for this year. But usually the seeds will drop and the color loo will spring back up this year. So I'm hoping that where I had them on the allotment last year, I'll get some fresh color loo as well. So this is the top of the color loo. So this is what it look like, that's the top of it. And all I did for here, I put some cocoa coil in there. Then there's so much seeds from just one top, guys. Then I just take some in my hand like this and I just sprinkle it in just like that. That's it. And then I just put another half a layer, I cover these so they can spring up. So I put like a half, probably a quarter inch covering of cocoa coil on top afterwards. And that's it. So now you have my nice Jamaican color loo for another year, guys. I'm super excited. I got nice and green and pretty. You know, I keep on going on about my narrow kale. I do love narrow kale. But it is still not as nice as my Jamaican color loo. And as I said before, when I was younger, I didn't like color loo. But now, there's no greens as nice as color loo. So last year, I didn't get my patties. I wanted the Kalaloo patty. But because every time I harvest it, I end up doing something else with it. So this year, I'm planning to grow loads of Kalaloo. Just for my rough estimate, I would say, hmm, it should be about 80 or so in here or more. Because I know they are really, really tiny seedlings and then they're going to shoot up. So it's about probably 80 or more. So what I'm planning to do is to have loads of color loo so I can definitely get my color loo patty this year and my pepper pot soup. So if you haven't started your color loo yet, it's time. Today is the 3rd of April. So you need to start them somewhere warm. So as I showed you last year, you just put a plastic wrapping, clear plastic wrapping over it to mimic like a greenhouse scenario. This year, I started it on a grow, um, a heated grow mat. So get your color loo started, guys. And let me know, how do you like your color loo? I like color loo with fried dumpling, okay? So let me know in the comment section below how you like to have your color loo. Well, thanks for watching, guys. I'm looking forward to my nice color loo harvest this year. I'm going to put a link in the comment section. I'm going to pin it so you can see how I cut the color loo last year. So I can have more than one harvest throughout the season. So thanks again for watching. Thanks for viewing. Until next time, guys. Keep gardening. Take care now. Bye-bye. Like, share, subscribe. And click the notification bell.